so with the 2016 CC, I've actually been looking for an opportunity to check this one out for a while now because previously I hadn't been able to find one. However, today, courtesy of Faulkner Volkswagen and Mechanicsburg PA, I had with me the 2016 Volkswagen CC R line and it was looking so freaking good. So let's drive. What's up, you guys? Gold Pony here today in the 2016. Volkswagen CC R line. Definitely excited for this one. So, starting out, pricing for the CC is going to start at $34,665. Then, there's an executive trim for $37,820 and an executive trim with carbon for once again $37,820. As far as power output goes, the CC is going to come with a two liter turbocharged and intercooled inline four cylinder engine. It's going to produce 200 horsepower at 5,100 RPM and 207 pound feet of torque at 1,700 RPM. And then, that power is going to be sent to the front wheels through your choice of either a six-speed automatic with tiptronic and sport shift or a six-speed manual so yes a six-speed manual is available for the volkswagen cc however today's car that i have today is the dsg automatic another thing i should probably mention because this one is sloped a little bit in the back the visibility actually still isn't that bad it's not going to be as good as the passat or the jetta but it definitely is still doable i can see perfectly fine out my rearview mirror of course side mirrors are fine as well another thing i really like on this one is the steering wheel is definitely a very soft leather and also this car is surprisingly pretty quiet <laughs> and what I mean when I say that is that most cars I review typically have a little bit more road noise than what I'm experiencing right now at least so definitely liking that as well another thing I haven't mentioned is the rearview mirror itself has a white perimeter to it typically you find black exteriors on those rearview mirrors and it's like every other car out there but this one looks different and I'm actually a fan of this I like how it's unique now I'm gonna do a quick little u-turn here and that worked out perfectly fine. I do a U-turn there every single time. And some cars aren't able to pull it off without doing a full three-point turn. This one's turning radius absolutely past the test there. But now what I want to do for you guys is a quick little acceleration test here. We'll see how quickly we can get up to speed. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. This thing definitely pins you to the back of your seat, no doubt. See, it actually, I am very impressed with the acceleration. I wasn't expecting that because it's 200 horsepower. But you know what? This definitely got up to speed quick for me. Now, the next thing I want to do with this being the DSG automatic, I'm going to put it in sport mode here. We're going to test out the paddle shifters, see how quickly they react and make sure they don't actually shift for me. Well... Quick reaction times, definitely a fan of that. That is it for the test drive portion of this review. Let's check out the exterior now. So up front, the R-Line adds a unique front bumper along with R-Line badging. Then to both sides, there's Bizenon headlights with LED daytime running lights. At least in my opinion, that lighting was an excellent contrast paired up with the black oak brown metallic exterior I had on the car here. Then heading around to the side, there's 18-inch Malloy alloy wheels finished in silver with a split five-spoke design. Just above those wheels, I found the side mirrors came integrated with turn signals as well, which is always Always nice. But then lastly, around the back, the LED lighting continued on for the taillights. Then another thing I found interesting was that the rear view camera was actually located behind the VW emblem. So when I drove off here, that rear view camera was no longer needed and the VW emblem was flush once again with the car. Kind of cool, right? And then of course, there was the chrome tipped exhaust outlets. And as always, here's that exhaust clip. <laughs> But now while I'm still back here, cargo capacity comes in at 13.2 cubic feet. And if for whatever reason that wasn't enough, yes, those back seats did fold down for a ton of extra space. But now I'll check out those back seats. The rear legroom comes in at 37.3 inches. And for reference, I'm an even six feet tall. And that legroom was definitely enough for me without having to adjust the driver's seat here. But while I was back here, I found some basic climate control options as well as a fold down center armrest with two cup holders that popped out of the end if you needed them. Then when it comes to finding the right driving position, first off, that steering wheel did come tilt and telescoping which is always nice but this front seats also came 12-way power adjustable including four-way lumbar support as well which is definitely enough for me to find that driving position i was looking for but anyways to start the cc there are going to be two options the first one being to simply leave the key in your pocket and press down on the engine start button but then the more interesting option at least for me would be to take this awesome looking key and place it in the ignition and simply press in on the key but then whichever way you choose to start the cc once started the gauge needles will do a full sweep and that display 
will be finished in a clean black and white. Then of course in the center of it all there was a small information screen which included things like audio information, navigation directions if the navigation system had been on, Bluetooth settings, safety feature information, a tire pressure monitoring system, and a good bit of other settings as well. But then the real tech phone was located just above all the climate control settings. It's a front and center was a 6.3 inch touchscreen navigation system which of course was going to help me find wherever I needed to go. Also there was plenty of audio setting information as well along with Bluetooth displays and Volkswagen's app connect. But then lastly of course there was that rear view camera which of course then leads me into safety. And so to start this front side and side curtain airbags of course along with the anti-lock brakes, anti-slip regulation, a brake override system, electronic brake pressure distribution, engine brake assist, hydraulic brake assist, power assisted front vented disc brakes, electronic stability control including electronic differential lock, latch aka lower anchors and tethers for children, child safety door locks, and more. But in the end, I wanted to check out the Volkswagen CC because since it first came out, I've always been a fan of the styling on this one. And of course, when you add the R-Line body kit, headlights, and wheels to it, it only gets better. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like the video and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Stay go.